So again, this Chinese um, ATV will start up and run, but basically on full choke. Um, it even uh, shifts into gear. Uh, so I put it down here and let it off. It's in first right now. Can actually even kind of give it some gas, some throttle. Um, but ah. and you take it, you can take it off of choke just a little bit. Just put uh, oil on that chain to kind of loosen, loosen it up some. But uh, make sure it's got yeah, it's got gas in there. Let me go ahead and put it back in the neutral. Carburetor's just got some problems. So, got uh, this one from the Yamaha uh, Moto 4. It looks like it's got the correct kind of adjustment to it, the angle to the straight, which looks like. Uh, what they've got is this style right here, so I'll have to um, adjust it for that. Um, I think this was a 252, this Yamaha Moto 4 250. Um, so, um, be checking that out and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna have to just clean out this carburetor. I did find a lot of junk in the um, the main jet, so. I'm hoping cleaning that out will help out the situation. All right, it's sounding pretty decent. Um, it is, after cleaning it, I can run it for the choke. Then it will start in gear. We're gonna have to probably turn up that 
Right on a little bit. All right, we got this thing going. Um, I am going to drive it for y'all. Let me turn this light off. All right, so um, let me push it over here. about three hours to four hours to get the brake situation going on there i've got a polaris uh worked 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 and worked on the original one could not get it going so i put a polaris um master cylinder on here it so we got front brakes we got back brakes um it runs choke off has some issues um, uh, with some uh, throttle stuff but overall pretty decent can't find a, a carburetor for it anywhere so it's been off for maybe an hour so I don't know if it's going to actually start up or not I'm just going to drive it around a little bit I might have to choke it I'm not sure um, but it is in so I've got right here I've got the clutch on this side and the brake on I had to switch them around I put my uh, electrical connectors up here in the front and I've got a Polaris throttle on here as well so um, I'm just gonna turn it on keys down here and needs to choke
fun little thing to drive. Just uh, kind of little updates or little things that I had to do to get this going. I had to do the, uh, both front tires were off the beads, so I had to use the grease trick to get them back on on both fronts. Um, how these are holding air, I don't know. You can see a lot of rust up in there. This one, <laughs> yeah, I think this has been sitting, look at that right there. I think this has probably been sitting for 10 years. Um, these are, could definitely use some new uh, spark plug boots. <laughs> That's in bad shape. Uh, it wouldn't, it would, it's just hard to find parts for this thing. Um, again, to get the, another thing that I had to do to get these brakes going is I had to take off the uh, the calipers and free up everything inside of there. Um, I actually had to take out the, the piston um, so it would move back and forth. Um, again, this is a little zip tie that I had to do to make sure that that uh, Polaris throttle would work. Um, didn't even need to change the oil, it was decent. Clutch works like it should. Had to end up plugging this uh, right here. It had been, this is from the, the front. There's a front and the back that goes into this back brake. Um, a front and a back um, line. So this line comes from the front, goes to this one. And um, because it was, cro or it was uh, stripped out, just uh, plugged it. Um, and then this is the bottom one that goes here. Found a cap in parts that I had from a Polaris. And... Other than that, the, the chain was in really bad shape, but that oil, the oil, uh, 30 weight that I put on it has been doing good. Uh, so, um, those are all the little thingies. It's got a little air. You could add some air to these shocks, I guess, if you wanted to raise it, or raise it or lower it. I don't know. Um, I'm just not doing anything with the lights. I'm not even gonna go there. And then, of course, had to um, put a new fuel line and route it uh, away from the exhaust. Yeah, and again, here's your ignition. This is what turns off the ignition. Oh, 250cc China. Uh, what brand? I don't know. Unbranded. Teo Teo. Um, cum Cum. Can't remember the name. Cum something. Cum. Come on. I don't know. One of those. It's probably an early 2000. 